In Nakworth is an American reality television star most popular for her appearance on the reality television series The Last Alaskans. Previously, she also appeared in Surviving Alone in Alaska and Braving Alaska alongside her husband, Hay McCorth. Furthermore, Edna featured in Hamo's cousin James Campbell's 2004 book, The Final Frontiersman. Hay McCorth and his family alone in Alaska's Arctic wilderness. Edna Corth won't be a new name if you have watched The Last Alaskans. Moreover, watch this video to learn more interesting facts on Edna Corth's personal and professional life. But before we start, please subscribe to our channel and make sure you bell. More on Edna Corth. American reality television star Edna Corth was born on 24th January 1954. Edna Corth seems to be a pretty private person who hasn't revealed much information regarding her personal life. She hasn't revealed her actual birthplace to the tabloids. Similarly, she seemed to be an educated person but hasn't disclosed her educational background. Edna Corth holds an American nationality and follows the Christian religion. Pretty private person Edna hasn't revealed anything regarding her early life and parents. She belongs to Siberian Yupik Eskimo by ethnicity and is currently living with her husband in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge in Alaska. Career Overview of Edna Korth Talking about the career journey of Edna Korth, she appeared in the reality television series The Last Alaskans. She appeared alongside her husband and daughter in the 2015 Alaskan reality television series. James Campbell wrote the book The Final Frontiersman, Hamo Korth and His Family, Alone in Alaska's Arctic Wilderness, which helped her reach stardom. James Campbell is the cousin of Hamo Korth and lived a couple of months in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Likewise, she also appeared in the documentary film showing Quartz's lifestyle surviving alone in Alaska, produced by VVS-TV in 2009. Her appearance in the reality television series The Last Alaskans boosted her professionalism to a successful path. Furthermore, Edna lived in an Arctic National Wildlife Refuge for more than 35 years. She survived out in the wilderness fishing, hunting, and trapping animals. There was a time when she needed medical assistance while living in the wilderness, and two para-esque jumpers dropped in during a snowstorm to rescue her. This incident is briefly described in the book Warrior's Crid. Edna is still living out in the 20 million acres of raw wilderness alongside her husband hunting and fishing. They are one of the families who is staying out in wilderness permanently. Relationship status husband and daughter. Reflecting on the personal life of Edna Korth, she is a married woman. She married Hamo Korth after falling in love at first sight. However, the couple hasn't revealed the actual date of the marriage. They met for the first time at Yupix on St. Lawrence Island in Bering Sea. Her husband also often visits Eskimo Walling Village to learn to hunt with the Eskimos. The married couple welcomed three children, Colleen, Rhonda, and Crin. Edna's husband, Hamo Korth, left his blue-collar life to live in the wilderness in Alaska. He worked as a journalist and welder before arriving in Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Likewise, he also served the American Navy for almost two years. Hamo Korth is second husband of Edna. Previously, she was married to an anonymous person. Pretty private person Edna hasn't talked much regarding her first marriage. However, she has a daughter, Melinda, from her first marriage. Her daughter, Melinda, is married woman and gave birth to three beautiful children. Death of first daughter, Colleen. Moreover, Edna gave three children with Hamo Korth. Unfortunate Colleen from her second marriage in River Rapids while canoeing in 1984. Colleen was born on 29th May 1982 but shortly left the world in the wilderness. Colleen's body was never found and they petitioned the Board of Geographic Names to name the unnamed peak as Colleen and Mountain. The Board of Geographic Names refused the petition, although former Alaskans government Steve Cooper and Alaska Congressman Don Young supported Edna. Afterward, Edna and Hamo started living in the wilderness permanently with the memory of Colleen. They got afraid of the tragic incident and sent their three daughters to live a normal life among citizens. Her youngest daughter, Crean, became a firefighter and married a Marine Scott who lives in Jacksonville, New York. There isn't much information about Rhonda, but she often visits the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge with her children. Edna Quoth's Salary and Net Worth Arctic National Wildlife Refuge Edna Quoth established a successful career as a reality television star. However, Edna hasn't disclosed her actual annual salary and net worth to the tabloids. She lives a simple life far away from modern civilization, fishing, hunting, and trapping animals. On the other hand, some sources have claimed Edna Quoth has accumulated an estimated net worth over 150000 
alongside her husband Hamo Korth. Individually, her net worth is estimated to be 700,000. Although the married couple lives as a refuge in Alaska, they don't lack modern tools such as guns, radio, satellite phone, chainsaw, and many more. Living in the wilderness is a challenging task. You never know what kind of animal is waiting for you in the next turn. However, Edna is living out in the wilderness happily alongside her husband, surviving through all the difficulties. Thank you for watching. Give a thumbs up to this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the notification bell to never miss an update.